Washington, D.C. in 1961 was alive and full of vigor. These are photos of the White House from the outside, the Rose Garden. Inside the White House is a private area upstairs for the family. Most people never see it. You might have seen it in House of Cards. And this is what it looked like in 1961. That was President Kennedy's bedroom right there. This is one of the little blue rooms upstairs. There's numerous rooms throughout the White House. Hundreds. It's like a big museum. And it has many beautiful paintings on the walls and um, adornments. It's somewhat of a colonial style. The hallway in the center upstairs has these wooden doors, dark, beautiful doors. This is known as the Queen's Bedroom. Sometimes they have special guest stay here. This is the fish room. They called it the fish room at the time. You can see the old typewriter in the corner. Out in the hallway, you can see some of the very beautiful colonial furniture. They had a private dining room for the first family where they could have dinner. Um, believe it or not, it was less formal than another one. This is a waiting area in the hallway. They had an elevator upstairs, they still do, and there's a vestibule there where you can sit and wait for the elevator. Um, they have servants that help. The elevator is right there behind a the door. The swimming pool was very well used at that time. It's not there anymore, but it was where the press room is now, and it was very private and a popular place to go. The First Lady had her own dressing room. This is it in light blue colors. You can see the photos on the wall of the children and the family. She was one of the best dressed First Ladies ever and had a lot to do with remodeling the White House. On the back of the White House is a big portico, you may have noticed, and upstairs is the yellow oval room. Not to be confused with the Oval Office. Look at the view over there of the, the East Building. Um, that's also in House of Cards. And this is more of the hallway. and The library is available to the family with lots of interesting books. There was a playroom for the children where they kept photos and games and so forth. What I call the TV room was a place to sit and watch the news and talk about the news of the day. They didn't have many televisions in the White House at that time, and nowadays they're in every room of the house. In the front of the upstairs is, are these beautiful wooden doors that lead to the big hallway. There's a theater in the White House. Back then it was in the East Wing. This is a photo of it. You can see President Kennedy's rocking chair in the corner. They had another dining room, the formal dining room, where they would have Thanksgiving dinners and things like that. This is it. It's yellow. At the time, they were remodeling the China room, so I thought I'd show you these photos of the remodeling. There's a room downstairs with hundreds of pieces of China, White House China sets from various administrations. And in the basement, there's a huge area, kitchen area, with a huge staff of cooks for state dinners where they can have hundreds of guests, and this is it. And the home school room was for the two children that were living there at the time. They had their own tutors. You can see the chalkboards there. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.